Why do people keep making the chocolate man sexier, Sam? I'm Derek Bob with three big shots from Kitchen Gun. What? So, uh, we're going to start this, then people just hear like a wall breaking, and his like, whole life is like, how the fuck do you get in our house? Through the wall! <laughs> oh, sorry, so the question. Derek, Why don't you try a new oh. kitchen gun? This isn't the kitchen. Oh, let's go to the kitchen then. You could just use the door, asshole. <laughs> I li literally, just this entire scenario, but it's spawned in Neo. Like, no, it's explained like Derek Bob. I said, hang on, let me just grab the mic. This would be great for a stream. D Derek Bob, I was spawned in Neo. And you have an extension cord. And so I'm like playing an extension cord, following with the mic. So what the fuck are you doing? Here to show you my new kitchen gun. I, f I fucking want Peter Serafinowicz is the only canon voice to spawn in <laughs> Wait, like, that'd be fucking great. All the memes I've seen about the Queen is something about her getting a banana. Yes. Potassium. Anyway, we have a fucking bonus boss to fight this episode because I have no sense of fucking structure. You have no structure? Physical or mental? Um, a little bit of combi, a little bit of combi. Combi? Combi. Sorry, yeah, so the move themselves are kicking. <laughs> You've got numpunk. A little bit of column B. Oh no. shit, let me hit some of that. This Fuck. get you fucked up for cheap. <laughs> fucking you can use to clean your car. No, fucking can't be the Pokemon. Like, we've put that into whatever column. Which generation is that? I don't know. I don't know any generation after I think, I think Diamond like Pearl. like Gen 8 or some shit. Oh, Christ. It's after uh, Diamond Pearl. Davin's no gonna be so fucking annoyed at us. <laughs> Anyway, what for having a go at for having like for not knowing Pokemon? Anyway, off we got to fight. Like, you don't know one of like thousand Pokemon. I'm ignoring. I'm never hungry. What? I think if something beautiful really carries in me. I'm not hungry. Seeds. Smiley face. Is this fucking Spamton? <laughs> now, what the creator did was grab all the comments to his games, like early Pokemon starter, and just put them in his lines. What? I misread that. <laughs> a very distressing one. A very distressing day or a very distressing duck? Um, I'll let you guess which word I misread. <laughs> Let's not lose any time. What, time is changing all the time? Oh dear. So can we just appreciate the fact that, like, this RSS, the fucking strange man that he is, designs a character who's wearing pasties. Wait, what? Because she's shirtless, look. Is that he or she? No, I'm pretty sure it's a woman. Like, the past is a kind of a dead giveaway. Anyway. I've never heard them described like that. Maybe I haven't been on the same websites as you. No, that's, that's what they're fucking called. Those plastic things that you stick over the nipple to censor it. Oh, I heard pasties and what? She has like bait goods? <laughs> Just like sellotape there? <laughs> fucking him. Cornwall porn starts. Going over like some Cornish pasties. Well, she like walks into Greg and saying, "Hmm, what do you have? Yes, two steak bites." Then, as she, she walks in, just here five minutes later, why are these so hard? We make them fresh every day, miss. Ah, it's so bur it burns. Oh, but at least I'm beautiful. <laughs> oh, so I'm in the hostel. So you tried to to sell a tape what to your nipples, miss? Greg's steak rolls, steak That's bites. That's why right, she's locked in the basement. It's for her own safety to stop her from sellotaping Greg's to her nipples. <laughs> oh god, I've killed her hammer and clockers in one hit. I was going to make the joke, but this was... I was going to get to it after I to this time. We're, we're going to get to that joke, but we were too distracted by Cornish pornography. Oh, it's Cornish pornography. But yeah. So it's like, oh, guess what I'm going to do with this uh, Cornish pasty? It's I'm traditionally made, not any of that Greg <laughs> shit, and uh, made here in Cornwall. I'm going to take this Cornish pasty down the mines, my ducky. <laughs> well, so there's several Cornish, um, what, tin miners uh, with their pasties opening their lunch boxes. There's like, oh, oh, yes. Literally, I just imagine a bunch of Cornish miners making a porno but they forget to actually have the porno in their porno. <laughs> and it well, it's food porn. Just them, <laughs> no. just all the like static shots of them eating like the patty gun. Like, yeah. Oh. It's like, almost, you know that scene in The Matrix? Just one guy, they get like 20 cameras. It's just like that Matrix scene of him eating corn and fucking patty. Like literally, they forget to actually film the porn in their pornography film. So it just ends up being like an audio-less documentary about the vine, about the fucking mines. What are you about to say about the vine? 
<laughs> but no. Well, is that, uh, you know, all these tin miners, a lot of them are now millennials. They have vine compilations now. Oh my god, watch me eating this cornish pasty. A few years later. Oh my god, watch me uh, eat this cornish pasty. Part two. Fuck, fuck you. Um, You'll never believe what happens at minute eight. Cornish pasty nipple prank gun <laughs> We found the episode title, folks. We're not even like ten minutes in, and it's already gone to shit. Why are we like this? What do you mean, gone to shit? I think the stream's massively improved. <laughs> oh, definitely. Wait, Let me is that just... John commenting? Yes. Let me just hit her with my long string. Oh, uh... you mean string as in from that puppet film, or...? Sometimes you just gotta grab life by the silly strings and use it to garrot a Cornish porn star in a basement. That's a very specific ritual. Oh. But if John right, it can be used to summon the mummy Imhotep in Curry Favour Room. I want to talk about Brendan Fraser <laughs> just while we're on the topic. Uh, before you get to that, reminds me, have you seen any of the devs react to speedruns? Go on. For the one for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, there's one point, it turns out one, uh, the actress, the main actress from the second mummy film, who's like the reincarnated woman from Egypt. Yep. She's like the voice and motion actor for one of the characters. Yes. And so in like the pre uh, preview, it says, whatever happened to Brendan Fraser? Yeah, I don't know. Because like a Canadian team that made the game. His name's not even pronounced Fraser, it's Fraser. Fraser. I love that you immediately pronounce his name wrong again. Well, as I said, as he said, it's Fraser. <laughs> but um, how do you pronounce it? It's Fraser, not Frazier. Is that what I was saying? No. Fraser. No, you're saying it now, but you're still saying it. Fuck. For a long time, I thought that's how you pronounce it. Right. Wrong Fraser. What? <laughs> so, uh, Brendan Fraser is going to have a go at saying, What? Um, you've been talking shit about me. In our defense, we can say, No, we're talking Brendan Fraser. Then, Br here we go. No, no, Brendan. Actually, understandable. There Br are two acts in the industry. We look very much alike, but I have a bigger. I was about to say Brendan Fraser's his evil twin who too like his take, evil twin with a his, different last name his, his evil twin who has the name differently pronounced to deliberately confuse people oh really like no it has it less confusing well, his well, evil twin <laughs> who looks exactly like him but with a smaller <laughs> but he just has a fake mus uh, has like a spot moustache from that one um <sighs> Uh, episode of I Star really want to go watch George of the Jungle when we're done recording this now. <laughs> Folks, oh, also, we've received a grand chocolate here. It's nice to know that the Cornish were holding Willy Wonka hostage. Now, if anything, that'd be like, what, um, Austria? I mean, Cornwall isn't really known for their chocolate. So why... Oh, okay, she's the only one visible corpse. That's good. I'm just imagining she's uh, saying, oh my god, like, like her Instagram is saying, I think I'm dying, hello well. <laughs> and comments, because uh, the phone somehow reaches this universe, saying, maybe you should find a doctor. It, Shit, what's her number? It, it's been a while. And, since... so, uh, and then people are saying, hang on, let me check. All right, my friends say it's 999. And then she's like, 999, what's your emergency? I ate too much sugar. <laughs> um, Okay. I also taped Greg's product to my nipples. <laughs> wow, you're into some kinky shit. No, that's not why I'm dying. That's just a I got beaten. I got beaten up by a batter with his big bat. You are into some kinky shit. Tell me more. Look, can we get back to the matter at hand? I know, I'm writing all this down. <laughs> oh, God. Looney Tunes back in action. Shit, was that the one with the space laser? I remember watching that in like the early 2000s. We're still in... Was Brendan Fraser in that? Fuck. I think so. I just remember that Michael um, Jordan having a fucking cameo. Oh. What was that? We're still on uh, videotape? I can't... I had, I had it on DVD. I had, like, it's still on DVD. No, I remember the days before that when we had like load of tapes. I fucking forget. hell, we've got Secret Day. Secret Day. Excellent. Yeah, in... Tuesday. Reduce the consumption of CP. Now we're keeping that... Should I keep it going, keep going? This is like that, some Doctor Who level shit. There's actually all the... You know the whole meme of... Uh, you make money by adding all the fractions of a like dollar mm -hmm. and accumulate it. No, that's, Super, is... that's Superman 2, you dumb ass. No, that's Superman 3. What? You're going on about the thing about the like the 
50 cents or whatever that gets lost in tax, right? No. Where every transaction, there's apparently fractions of a dollar because things aren't always that neat. And they did it in... Oh, what was the film done by Senko did Diocracy? Office Space. Where they say, our plan is to steal all this money. Where, for most people, they won't miss it. But then the guy pointed out, didn't a bunch of other people do this and get Yeah, caught? no, that's Superman free. There are always fractions left over in big corporations, but they rounded down to the lowest whole number. This is some, like, Doctor Who level shit where, yeah, all the days, they're not all, uh, 24 hours, and you may think, like, leap years and think they come for it. Uh, no, there's actually enough uh, time. There's a secret day at the end of the year, December 32nd. You know, the funny part is, is it's kind of, that's kind of the plot of Persona 3, I believe. What? It's either Persona 3 or Persona 4, but part of the plot revolves around them going to, um, the secret point in time that only exists between, it's either between 11.59 and midnight, or midnight in one minute past midnight. Hmm. But they got this thing called the Twilight Hour, which is like a weird pocket universe where all the Persona shit happens. Completely different to the metaverse from five. Anyway, let's get back into here. I could burn this place down. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, the, the, I'm great, not... And his magic coming across pulls his name in this. Uh, he's one. He's somehow won the secretary. So one of the most powerful beings in this world. But just like they stuck me in this basement, just trying to make sure you don't destroy everything. No. I mean, the the office... I don't even have my stapler. They took it off me. No. That them stealing the money, like in office space. There was a rat. Like it's a reference to Superman three. Because um, the plot, like, the part of the plot of that is that Richard Pryor plays this harmless guy who takes a course in, like, computer science. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he becomes an expert at cozing, like, mm -hmm. because he's a weird savant. But, um, like, the start of the plot is that, like, he uses his computer skills to, like, hack into his company's database and steal, like, all of the money that gets lost between the transactions. Mm -hmm. And that's what Office Space is referencing. It's not much money. It's, that's the beauty of it. Each withdrawal, it's a fraction of a cent. That's too small to notice. But you take a few thousand withdrawals a day, you space it out over a couple of years, that's a few hundred thousand dollars. It's like Superman 3. Hey, the funniest thing is that they don't get caught. Because they fuck up that technique so bad, they try and return the money before they get caught as an apology. And in like an anonymous envelope and stop the like program from running. Mm -hmm. um, but it turns out it fucks up because the guy uh, John is referencing burns the place down. <laughs> so all evidence of their crime is gone. I, f I do believe, I do believe that um, your thing about the bar being Hugo might be more on the money than mine. Yeah, because if, if the add ons are like his memories of the three guardians. Oh. Never even thought of that. But it just seemed like uh, the kid was either his son and the queen was his wife. And he's like come back to destroy the world. Well, apparently, according to the developer, the Barser is um, a tulpa created specifically by Hugo. Which is why I think that he's the Grim Reaper. Hmm. Yeah, but apparently, like, Hugo is their son, but also they're created by Hugo. It's all very fucking complex. What? If yeah, it's all very complex. If the batter truly loves this baby, sure the boy should keep slapping her rear. Slapping the baby's rear. Uh, maybe Chris Hansen needs to come over. No, no, the Hell, he he doesn't even smash through the uh, said floor, baby through sitting. the house. I've... He can just go through the hole in the wall created by Derek Barn. I said baby shit, you fucking muppet. Did you? <laughs> yes. Hmm. Anyway. Oh boy, it's this fucking you're like, puzzle. Yeah, can you have a seat over here? <laughs> but I'm already sitting down. All right, stand up and take a seat over here. Why? You're talking about baby, right? No, babysitter. No, no, no. Then don't... he goes like this, saying, babysitter. I don't really blame you. I mean, oh, yes, babysitter. <laughs> no, no. Jer Especially like... when they're under 50 years old. Oh. Der Derek Hansen. Derek Hansen? Derek Hansen. <laughs> Chris Hansen. Aaron Hansen. <laughs> Fuck. Well, uh, by their powers combined, they do the whole, like, what was it? Uh, Dragon Ball thing. Like, the <laughs> combined. <laughs> by their power. By their so powers. So they use the kitchen gun to kill... I'm cleaning up the streets. Bang, bang, bang. What, like Carl fucking Rittenhouse? I, Topical Cuba. I can't even remember. I can't even remember the fucking tangent I wanted to go on because that's so goddamn funny. <laughs> ah, yes, this fucker. Tell me a random number. 
Engineer, pull up that scene from PT. No, no, pull up that scene from Drake and Josh. Which one? Please tell the class, what is your favorite novel from the 20th century? Uh, Catcher in the Rye. Wrong. I just remember they referenced it in a, oh. probably one of the early seasons of uh, South Park, where they're saying, all right, this book's a bit controversial, but we're going to let you read it. And they're saying to students, be aware that this is a novel of its time. And it's one Cartman, the fat man. It's so annoying. He's waiting for like, the really juicy bits. Was it that like, they literally just entire... say the ad words once or something? Well, that's the thing. He reads the entire novel in one night and then counts that. That's probably the most reading you've done this year. He says, yeah, <laughs> all that happens is he says the word a few times and that's it. And you have to that. I'm just going to Photoshop this and uh, send it out as a Valentine's Day card. Ah, uh, how romantic. What if we kissed underneath the giant Alson? There we go. I remember this being Undertale. I'm but a simple rock, my darling. This isn't just a rock. It's a boulder. <laughs> Man, what's they now tend to think about? I often wonder. Yeah, I'm trying to think about like future Valentine's Day cards. Future Valentine's Day cards. Yeah. So in a uh, future, you're just gonna get like that scene. It's like an animator, like like googly eyes on it to really get it. Uh, saying, please tell me your phone number. Write it here. <laughs> write it down on the Google Play cards, madam. Why do you write it on the Google Play cards? Well, I... as a romantic gift, here's some Google Play cards. <laughs> you know, so you can uh, get that new Sonic mobile game that's coming out. But Sonic Boom 37 by that point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, God. they start doing one... It's like that now that's what we call music. They used to uh, do them once every... Um, Fuck. Yeah, but now it's like once every month by this point, it seems. I didn't bother to read... That's why you have a fucking guide. Yep. Oh, I don't know the answer to this question. <laughs> if you just change tabs... You have all the answers right fucking there. Or you bring up a guide otherwise. I'm not really sure. Anyway, um... Wait, so you can't read directions? To be fair, the librarians wouldn't be able to read them even if there were directions. Look, man... Like... How do you read this? <laughs> there are no pictures. There are pictures, you're just blind. Oh, right. Let me just put this back. Government's, like... Put part of my brain with a little bag of sand. Well, so taking half your brain... And half a bag of sand and put it back in your brain? Yeah. So you have one half your brain, the other half your brain, and a bag of sand equal to the weight of half your brain. I'm thinking with sand. Your brain is one half <laughs> times the weight of itself. I'm thinking with sand here, Quinlan. Quinlan? <laughs> the long lost brother of Quinton Blake? Quinlan Blake. Who the fuck is Quinlan Blake? My Quint question exactly. Quentin Blake? What? He did the artwork for a lot of Roald Dahl books. If I'm thinking of the right guy. I think I've read those. You think you've read them? <laughs> yeah, I read them back in like middle school. Yeah, he did, um... This is going to be good. <laughs> Alright, hit me with it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not even a good fucking punchline. I was literally just going to say, our Roald Dahl, he did Lord of the Rings, right? <laughs> just to, like, watch your face sink. A crossover would be very interesting. What, the... Oh. What, Frodo Baggins? You know, the ring's been taking a toll on his body and things. To really, like, uh, power him up, he needs to uh, no. drink some of George's marvellous medicine. No, 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 to destroy the ring, they have to throw it into the chocolate fountain at Mount Doom. Why is it chocolate? Because, <laughs> like, in this scenario, Sauron is replaced with Willy Wonka. What, he wants more workers for his factory? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you get, like, all the universe where Willy Wonka goes insane and wants to turn everyone into chocolate. <laughs> have you seen the fucking Netflix movie? What? Like, have you seen the promotion alert for the fucking Netflix movie? There's a Netflix movie? Why the fuck do people keep bimbo fying Willy Wonka of every fucking subsequent movie they make? bimbo fying him? Fuck. What? There's a picture with him with his cane doing the Hawkeye Initiative or something. Hang on. Why do people keep making the chocolate man sexier, Sam?
He looks young for a f manager of a factory. It's a prequel. Oh. Why do people keep sacrificing the chocolate man, Sam? Willy Wonka's gonna hold the fucking record for being the only character to become the Tumblr sexy man twice. Okay, uh, <laughs> pay yourself for this one. <laughs> yep. Do you want to know why? Because everyone wants to. Well, that's getting censored in the re-release. Uh, in the re-release? <laughs> oh, so we're going to post the original version un completely uncensored <laughs> in the re-release. Because YouTube is a bit, you know, finicky <laughs> people, uh, about people saying all the time. Uh, Going to re-release it. <laughs> the uncensored versions of Patreon exclusive. <laughs> what? Why would people pay... For the censored version. No, the the re-release. No, the yeah, you know, if you pay enough money, you'll get the censored version. The uncensored version is the Patreon exclusive. Oh, For a second I thought you were ripping our Patreon supporters off. You fucking Muppet. How am I a Muppet? You're the... I don't know, you're the one who wants Gene Wilder's ch... Did I say Gene Wilder? It was implied he played Willy Wonka. So did two other people now. Well, so you say a thing, yeah, but and your immediate thought is Gene Wilder. Sam, you can't... Give Gene Wilder on the brain a lot. I mean, Sam, just, no. oh, Gene Sam, Wilder. Sam, you, can, you can't go after Johnny Depp. He's in the middle of, like, fucking divorce court or whatever. Like, I thought he was already divorced. Le, 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 the point is, he's still in the middle of a fucking court case. Leave the man alone. 